Welcome back everyone, it is finally time for my trip to the capital and up to the air tree. But before that, we have a lot of drip to choose from, so let's find a new outfit for the occasion. I look like the fucking grim reaper now, all I'm missing is a scythe. And there we go, it is finally time to head into the capital city of Leyendel. We're heading up the stairs and holy shit, the first thing we see are two giant bosses on horses guarding the door. Yeah, I ditched that scythe immediately and switched back to my trusty bloodhound's fang and made quick work of them. Okay, it should just be a nice ride on horseback up to the cat. Oh my god, now what? So this thing is like a giant stone gargoyle? Nope, get out of here. Finally, we can just peacefully ride up to the doors of the cap. Oh my god, why? This was an upgraded version of the two bosses from before, and he absolutely ruined me with lightning and fire and explosions everywhere. Until I realized, this guy is actually really easy. You just ride around in circles and smack him and he can't do anything about it. I don't know what's so hard about this guy. So yeah, after that we head into the capital and Melina shows up. She says thanks for bringing her to the base of the air tree and that the accord that we had struck up all the way at the beginning of the game has now been fulfilled. So I guess we're on our own now. So let's go out and see the city now that we're finally here. This place was stunning. Seeing it for the first time was incredible. There's a giant dead dragon on one side, a huge castle on the other, and a whole town in the middle. Honestly, it was a little overwhelming at first. There are so many ways to go but every room is so detailed, and there's even an entire underground sewer system. Everywhere I went, this place is just- HOLY SHIT, WHAT THE FUCK IS THAT THING? Yeah, there are bosses around every corner in this city. I explored all the way through the underground maze that was the sewer system, and you know what I found at the bottom of it? Another boss! I'm not even complaining though, because these bosses were so cool. And for this one down in the sewers, the poopy eater helped me out. It was awesome. We were such a dangerous duo, he never stood a chance. Once we finally got him down to one hit, he absolutely blew the whole fight by just swinging too far and missing me. Man, that is embarrassing. I would not want to be you right now. Back up on the surface, I'm climbing up that dead dragon's wing to get to the upper half of the city. And after that, we're climbing up some massive branches to get up even higher. And then, once we get all the way up there, guess what? Another boss. It's the first man who was Elden Lord, Godfrey. But it's not actually him, it's just a spawn of him. Even though he is just a big yellow piss ghost, he is still extremely strong. He has these crazy combo attacks that just take so much of your health away. I should have been dead so many times this fight, I don't know how I didn't die. My strat was to just stay close enough to him that hopefully his swings would go past me. And that only really worked half the time, so I ended up having to heal a lot. And finally, after using almost all of my health and nothing but brute force, he is done. Get out of here, old man. It is not your time anymore, it is my time now. After that fight, we are heading up even farther until I find the biggest and most uncomfortable looking bed I've ever seen. Like this thing is made of stone, it cannot be comfortable, there's no way. And then directly outside that room is another boss, the main boss of Leyendel. And Melina is gonna help us with it, so let's freaking go. We walk through the fog and then we get a cutscene, and straight away this voice is sounding a little familiar. And then this boy comes walking down the stairs, and yeah, this is totally just the first main boss we fought, or it's his identical twin brother. The first boss's name was Margit, and this is Morgoth, and the only difference is his sword. This bro really thinks he's going to be able to fell me. How many, How many times, times do I have to, do teach, have you to teach you this lesson, old man? I love the young people. Alright, so when I fought this guy, I was under the impression that this was going to be the last fight. But I guess if you know, you know. So I started by immediately enchanting my sword and going all in. Let's go. Okay, not a good start. You could really hear my enthusiasm in my monotonous voice. Anyways, 
This guy is a lot more aggressive and he has a ton more attacks than the first time we fought him. Including raining down golden swords and just smacking you back and forth with the force of a hydraulic press. I was patient though and I got my attacks in on the openings and eventually we got him down to half health. And when that happens, he just explodes with poopy water. I don't know why there's such a strong poop theme in this video, but I hope you like poop jokes because in the second half, this guy got absolutely shit on. I deleted like a fourth of his health in a second, and then he was too busy worrying about Melina, and I just stab him in the back. I thought wounds in the back were a swordsman's greatest shame, but this guy died to simping. Bro, that is a new low. I got him on the first try, and now he looks like this. So like I had said before, I was kind of under the impression that this was going to be the end of the game. But as I headed up to the air tree, I was stopped in my tracks. Impenetrable thorns. Fuck it. I guess it looks like we are not going to be taking the throne today. So I headed back out to the arena and Melina showed up again. She told me that the thorns are impenetrable. Like yeah, duh, I knew that. But she has a second offer for me. Apparently in the nearby mountains, there's some special kindling, and with that kindling, we can burn this whole fucking tree to the ground. That's how we're gonna get inside, and that's how we're gonna become Elden Lord. And before you say, whoa, 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 are you sure that's okay? Yeah, I got the A-OK -okay from Grandma. She said it's fine, even if it's the biggest sin a man can commit in this world. And with that, we've got some new drip, a new goal, and we find ourselves in a new area called the Forbidden Lands. This is where I'm gonna end it, but if you enjoyed, please consider subscribing, and I hope you join me in the next one where I burn that fucking tree to the ground.